Hey y'all, it's January the 10th, 2018. Actually, I meant to make this video earlier and I forgot about it. And so I just remembered right now. And although I've cut too many videos already, I feel that it's very necessary that I go ahead and share this with y'all right now uh, before I forget again. All right. um, a lot of people are very concerned, extremely concerned about myself for instance bringing jesus into the fold they get very wary when they hear the name jesus they feel like it's not appropriate uh, it's not it doesn't have anything to do with specific things like uh caitlin nicole for example and stuff and the thing is i understand their logic because if you're trying to be an investigator you're looking for actual physical evidence and things like this i understand the logic and they already know my opinion about that as far as physical evidence you know we're not going to find anything we just aren't we found all the evidence that we that we're going to find all the evidence we're going to find is going to be found on the internet and stuff like that and it's, it's not going to get anybody in jail and i'm sorry about that all right, because I really do want justice. I, 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 I'm not about letting this slide at all for anybody. All right. So, but I wanted to talk about that because people have a problem. People have a problem with me. And they, they voice their opinion. They're putting Jesus in everything. So they say, why you got to put Jesus in everything, man? You're just distracting. You need to create some sort of Jesus group where you talk about Jesus all the time because we don't have time for that. All right thing is what i got to um impress upon you i think it's become pretty obvious is um that's all i have to offer to be honest with you i, I mean i really sincerely do not have anything else to offer nobody the thing is i know a lot of people uh, for whatever reason come and enjoy my videos sometimes from time to time what i had to impress upon everybody is every last second that you see Every last word that you hear me say and stuff, it's all been inspired by Jesus. Jesus is part of all of it. Every last, he gets the credit for all of it. I, I don't deserve credit for none of it, all right? I didn't make this happen. In my opinion, and it's just my opinion, he made it happen, all right? And I just appreciate that he used me to make it happen, all right? And it entertained some folks for some time. And maybe, you know, got people to think about uh, some things a little bit differently all right maybe and i like to think about things differently and i like to grow the internet kind of helps me like that all right but jesus in my opinion is everything that i do on the internet so it's kind of a, a little bit you know unreasonable to you know ask me not to say the name of jesus because i'm just going to do it i've been doing it i'm going to continue to do it all right but a lot of people like i said and i could see the reason they would say you know he doesn't really have much to do to get into the bottom of nothing, all right? He's not going to get us no justice. Actually, what I got to tell y'all is not only do I believe absolutely that he's going to get 100% justice, not only that, but we've actually seen the evidence of it, the evidence time and time and time again, time and time again. Like, people can ignore it, but uh, people have been receiving justice all over the place. I've made many videos about it, all right? From who? Who do you think it was from? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't our legal process because like I said, nobody's seen a jail cell over Caitlin Nicole. Nobody will see a jail cell over Caitlin Nicole. I do think that's tragic. I do think that's unacceptable. And still, I can, I can read the tea leaves and things like this. It's been over a year, all right? Think about that. Meanwhile, there's other people who's bound to get abused and we do need to look out for them. They are crucial. There's people getting abused right now today. Right, and they need our help and that's crucial like i said a lot of people they just don't want to hear the name jesus and god bless you if you don't want to hear it you probably don't want to listen to me at all ever because i'm just keep peppering it in there it's always going to be the case all right but i do want to explain this a lot of people they would find it reasonable to just not even bring it up because of course caitlin was all tolerant first of all Jesus is tolerant as far as religions go. Jesus doesn't care about nobody's religion at all. Right? And that's what a lot of people don't understand. And we've been very misled into misunderstanding. Uh, but Jesus does not care about your religion. He never did. And when I talk about Jesus, I'm not talking about your religion at all. I don't care what you believe. I'm telling you what is in history books that I've read. That there's plenty of evidence to go ahead and support. All right. 
I'm telling you about a, a person who wasn't a person, all right? He was actually more than that. All right, I'm not talking about your religion. A lot of people get offended. And they're like, oh, you're not being inclusive. I don't care what your religion is. And I never bring up nobody's religion. People, other people bring it up. Other, other people do. Because I don't care about your religion at all. Why would I ever care? Because I can't change your mind and I don't want to change your mind. I just want to lend you my opinion. And my opinion is always going to have something to do with Jesus. I'm sorry about that. All right? But some people enjoy it, you know, and I enjoy those people and stuff. It doesn't matter what your religion is. I don't care. We can agree to disagree and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not really going to bring it up, but I will bring up the name of Jesus. However, when I bring up the name of Jesus, you're going to notice some people get hysterical. Some people start bursting out crying. Right? You're going to notice that I don't talk about nobody's religion. I just say the name Jesus. Damn, that's not inclusive. That's not inclusive, y'all. Meanwhile, Jesus never cared about your religion. He really doesn't. He just said, believe in me. He said, believe in me more than anything else. That's all Jesus said. And you'll notice that there's so many denominations and so many so-called sub-religions that believe in Jesus. How in the world would Jesus be a religion if all these different people believe in him in different ways? How does that even make sense? Try to make that make sense. Jesus does not attack nobody for their religion and never has. He just said, believe in me more than anything else. All right, I'm the son of God. All right, and you could choose to do so. You could choose to not do so, especially in America. Actually, especially in America, because in other places, you say the wrong thing, you get the damn head chopped off. But where uh, Jesus is very popular, you'll notice that there's a lot of safety for not only atheists, Muslims, whatever, whatever you are. It doesn't matter because there's safety involved there. All right, Jesus. <laughs> Here's the thing about it, and I'm gonna end up the video like this. <clears throat> A lot of people, they look at the Caitlyn Nicole Davis situation, say, pish posh, what does Jesus have to do with any of this? And of course, I have brought up uh, the situation of the fact is Caitlyn Nicole herself passionately put a video on the internet. And it's like, I don't know how anybody could ever overlook this. Uh, when she was talking about depression, sorry about that. When she was talking about depression, God, it's hard to keep the thing falling out, I need to get a stand. When, she, when Caitlin was talking about depression, she was also at the same time talking about Jesus Christ and his healing powers. I'm sorry that she said the name Jesus Christ, but she absolutely did. And to me, that plays a very big factor. And the thing is, people still would be like, well, psh, maybe she was just rambling. Maybe, you know, that's just some stuff that she heard and it wasn't significant. All right. It's just my opinion that I want to share with you right now. But I'm going to go ahead and share it. It is just my opinion. But this is a situation in which Jesus Christ himself saw to Caitlin coming onto this earth and growing into something more beautiful than we could ever imagine. Jesus Christ was responsible for that, right? He gave us this gift. And I'm not saying us because we didn't know her. But in a sense, I am saying us as a whole, a nation, a world. He gave us. All of us, the opportunity to know Caitlin Nicole, not only that, know people all over the, the, the world, know little girls and know little boys who are like Caitlin Nicole in the way that they're just inspiring and super talented, wonderful creatures, right? Jesus Christ himself. And a lot of people, they don't, they don't want to believe this. However, it's my opinion. And I live in America. Jesus Christ gave us Caitlin Nicole, gave us the opportunity. Uh, and then, and then somehow, some way, the opportunity was squandered by who? Many people around her, many, many people, especially the people closest to her, squandered. Why? Because she didn't feel wanted. Kayla Nicole, a gift from Jesus Christ, in my opinion, irregardless of what other people think, a gift straight directly from Jesus Christ, ignored. All right, totally just exploited. And it is a tragedy. It's a travesty. All right, this went on and, and people are quick to say, well, what does Jesus have to do with it? Jesus started this whole thing. He gave us her. And not only that, Caitlin Nicole at her young age was old enough to realize that she is where he came from. Or he is where she came from. My, my mistake. 
So that's where she came from. And she knew that. She professed his name. She really had no... It doesn't make sense that she would profess his name in her particular situation, given that her parents were absolute Christian hypocrites. It doesn't make sense that she would like Jesus. However, she saw the essence of Jesus. She knew that is where safety is at. That's where security is at. That's where calmness is at. Like I said before, Jesus, during, during the time in which Caitlin tried to commit suicide, between that time and the time where she actually succeeded, Jesus Christ was the only thing keeping her here. Do you understand? He was the only thing keeping her here so that she would be here long enough to show us in video, in vivid color, just exactly what we did, what we squandered. Jesus saw to the whole thing. Why? Because Jesus weeps. Why? Because we, not, we didn't take care of Caitlin Nicole. All we had to do was make her feel wanted. That's all we had to do. And uh, we failed as a people. We failed as a nation. All right? And so Jesus saw to it that Caitlin Nicole is no longer here on earth in, in physical form. She's very much here on spiritual form. All right. Jesus saw to it. And a lot of people, they, they, if, it, if they even consider that Jesus is an actual uh, thing that happened... All right, they'll look at him and they'll spit at him. And they'll say, why did you take Caitlin Nicole? Meanwhile, in my opinion, why he took Caitlin Nicole is because she'd been squandered this whole time. And it's absolutely unacceptable. And he knew that and he wound up doing something about it. And meanwhile, we're here blaming him. Or we're here saying that he had nothing to do with it. Oh, really? Or like, no, actually, he had everything to do with it. And I'm sorry, but that's all I have to give you. That's all I have to give you. Not only that, I do have all sort of insights that people wonder, well, how did he know that? How, how did he already know that? Uh, Jesus, Jesus made me know it. He didn't tell me, but he showed me. That's how I know these things. Right? He's got everything to do with it. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if that makes you cry and stuff like that. Uh, I appreciate you and I care about you. Everybody out there, I benefit from y'all's work. I respect y'all and y'all's work. But I got to tell y'all before I get out of here, lots of times you're wasting your time. All right, just to be honest with you. Just to be very honest with you. People don't want me to mention the name Jesus like in certain discussions. Not at all. But they will mention the name Tony. And here's the here's thing. Shout out to Tony because I know he's going to watch this. They will mention the name Tony. And they'll mention the name Tony like 20, 30 times. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong a day. They'll mention the name Tony. And I do want to shout out to Tony because I understand you're a troll and you live a depressing life. All right. And I'm sorry about that. But you do. And I know that you do. But understand this, Tony. The people who you're trying to get a rise out of, they talk about you all day long, 24-7. And I'm sorry about that, but technically you're winning. Technically you're winning in that sense. Meanwhile, you do have to ask yourself. Sometimes you do have to look yourself, inside yourself and ask yourself, would Caitlin really want us to be focusing? That's the question. On trolls. Would she? Because we know that trolls bullied her and there was people in school that bullied her. Would Caitlin want us to focus on trolls? Ask yourself. Right. Would she want us to rid the world of trolls and be knights in shining armor to constantly be seeking after and talking about on a constant basis trolls such as Tony, who's mentioned constantly, All right? Would Caitlyn want that? Or would Caitlyn, on the other hand, would she want us, perhaps just maybe myself, and here's the thing, I know everybody out there is doing the same thing. Would she want us to help people, just like her, going on the internet, pouring out their heart and soul and stuff? And the thing is, especially over the past few days, I've had people who, who've reached me and contacted me who are also pouring out their soul here on YouTube, really putting it out there. Would Caitlin want us to dedicate our time to uh, helping those people and making sure those people know that they're wanted and making sure those people know that they have a chance out here on the Internet? Would she want us to do that? Which one sh would she want us to focus on more? All right. Meanwhile, I know for a fact that all y'all are doing that already. I know for a fact that y'all are. However, you don't talk about it in discussion, which you probably should. 
right? In fact, it'd be probably good to keep things on a positive level. Who can we help? Who's out there who, who needs to have their voice heard just like a Caitlin Nicole, right? They're out there and I know that you're helping them. But however, you never talk about them. You always talk about the trolls. You have to focus on one more than the other, unfortunately. I know the trolls are a serious aspect of some, some out there. But the thing is, what I'm here to tell you is it's largely distracting. And it is wasting y'all's time. And I do benefit from y'all sometimes. But not when you're talking about trolls necessarily. I mean, honestly, it's really a waste of time. But anyways, y'all, I just want to share that with y'all. I mean, the thing is, it has everything to do, to, to do with Jesus and stuff. And I know that that's not a popular opinion. It never has been. And I'm sorry about that. I'll holler at y'all. It's January the 10th, 2018.